All right, this is part five. I'm going to add the nose in here. And the first thing I'm going to do for the nose is simply cut something like so. And then I'm going to go into the vertice mode and start by actually I'll do that. I'm going to cut one more thing here. Cut around the nose like so. And this is going to give me the base of the nose like so. Now it doesn't look much like a nose because we don't have any thickness to it. That's why I'm pulling out this a little bit here. And that's going to give me the, a really nice form for the nose there. And then I'm going to go in here and cut from here to here. And I'm actually going to go into the edge mode here and co oops, undo that. Uh, I'm going to go back into the edge mode here and I'm going to um, remove that and you can do that by hitting backspace and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to move this one and use backspace as well and that gives me more of the form that I need and I'm going to move this back in like so and this is okay this is nice and square I'm, I'm happy with that I can actually pull that out a little bit um, Take this one up here, pull it out to form the kind of crease. Okay, and then the next thing that I have to do is pretty much go here, and I'm going to cut in another form here, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the face, like so and in like so. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two, pull that forward, and that's going to give me a little bit more form here. I'm going to pull this inward, and I can probably even move it inward a little bit more, like so. And, you know, as you see things, I if you notice, I kind of jump back and forth and do a number of different things. You know, like I'm going to just, I see this is wrong when I turn it, so I'm going to move that back while I'm, while I'm working on it, um, which basically in turn is moving these back as well. All right, so this is going to give me my basic phase, and then um, pretty much all I'm going to do after that is I'm going to make another edge loop here. So I'm going to start from the chin, so here. I'm going to go up, I'm going to go over, I'm going to come up here, over here, 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 and then up over the bridge of the nose, like so. Now that gives me an edge loop around the, the entire part of the nose, and then what I'm going to do is go in here, collapse that, and that's going to pull back and give me squares all the way around. And here as well, I'm going to collapse that and pull that back. I'm going to go back into my edge vertice and let's see here. I'm going to go back here and uh, take this one. I think we're going to do this one here. Collapse that, and I'm going to pull this up. Now, if you notice here, uh, you get a I had that little mark here. Um, that basically what happens is I turned an edge. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up here, and that's going to give me my kind of loop around the start of the mouth, and then from there, I can go in and you know make the nose bridge, make the nose however, kind of however I want, and kind of work with that. And you can actually work on these edge loops accordingly. Okay, so you know you can move them back and, and do so on and so forth. Now with that, um, you pretty much have the base shape of your thing. The big thing is now you need to make sure 
that you do not have the five-sided polys, okay? And we'll, um, what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to just see if this will ring right, and I'm going to connect this really quickly, and there is my eyelids, so I'm going to just move that back in there like so, and of course I'd want to shape that up and, and, and manipulate that you know to be kind of what I need it to be um, but that's the basic underlying shape now really quickly I'm going to show you guys how to um, so do the selection thing so I'm going to just open this up here all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select by numeric and I'm going to select by anything greater than four edges and I'm going to hit select actually I'm going to go in face mode and by numeric, anything greater than four edges, and I'm going to select. Now you see here, here's a bad polygon, and there's a bad polygon. Oh, I got a bad one back here too. Overall, not too bad. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, go back into here, and we're going to just fix this one. Cut this from here to here, and that fixes that one. And then this one here, um, I can actually go in like so. And we're just going to go back here. And I'm going to really quickly cut in. Like so. And that's going to fix that one. And then this one right here, um, I can simply connect this one to this one and move that up a hair. Now you see here where I have this overlapping and it's basically an edge. This is where I was, I was showing you before. What you're going to do to fix that is you got to turn your edges. And you go scroll, go into edge mode and you scroll down until you find turn. Okay, here. And it gives you all this this weird geometry here, um, all this dotted line. So what you're going to do is click on that. You see how how I it instantly twists around. So basically, that gives me a proper turn edge. Now, of course, if I were actually doing this for you know um, for cleanup and stuff, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have cut there from an edge. What I instead of would have done is something similar to um, probably cut up here like so and then around to be kind of more of the bridge of the nose and then I can actually go in here um, with this one and if you hold shift if you just hit backspace you're gonna leave that vertice right there but if you hold uh, control and backspace it'll remove that vertice as well so if you notice here now I've got pretty much a clean nose. Now I can actually, you know, pour it out and do what I need, that type of thing. And that's pretty much the tutorial on how to create the kind of edge looping and geometry for the face. You can always add more. You can always take away, um, clean it up, um, that sort of thing. Um, I would actually kind of go in here um, into this section here and uh, eventually chamfer chamfer this edge to give my jaw not such of a hard um, robotic feel. So chamfering it, that's fine, chamfer, chamfer, chamfer. Um, chamfering it here would basically be something like that, and that's going to flatten out that jaw line and stuff. You know, and you can add more geometry and stuff like that. Okay, and that's basically it.